to Play Date. I'm Julie Murray from Sounds Like This and I am pleased as punch to be here on behalf of the State Library of Victoria for our little musical singing and playing session. Sounds Like This works and plays on the traditional lands of the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. In today's musical story session, we're going to need something to bang on. Maybe a drum or a tub or a box or a whatever you have handy is absolutely fine. Uh, you might also like to get somebody to play with. Maybe a grown-up or a sibling. Whoever is in your house is absolutely perfect. Just say, hey, do you want to play with me? <laughs> Let's jump in. my ukulele down. Ooh. Do you have a hand like this? Do you have a pointy finger like this? We're going to point our finger on our other fingers and then do a whoop, whoop, whoop like that. Are you ready? Pointy. Here we go. Johnny, 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 whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny, 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 Johnny. You might like to try it with your name. I'm Julie. I'm going to do Julie, 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 whoops, Julie, whoops, Julie, 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 Julie. My friend Timmy loves this one, so I'm going to do one for him. Timmy, 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 whoops, Timmy, whoops, Timmy, 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 Timmy. I'm going to swap hands and use a different pointy finger. My friend Willow likes this one too. You ready? Willow, 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 whoops, willow, whoops, willow, 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 willow. Can you do your name? Me, 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 whoops, me, whoops, me, 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 me. <laughs> when we're playing with our fingers, do you have a thumb? And a pointer and a tall one and a ring finger. Oh, that's tricky. And a pinky. Ooh. Ooh. Hide them away. If you'd like to help me do the echo part, you can. So I sing a bit, then you sing a bit. I sing a bit, then you sing a bit. I sing a bit, then you sing a bit, then I sing a bit, then you sing a bit, then I sing a bit, then you sing a bit, then I sing a bit, then you sing a bit. You know. <laughs> Let's have a go. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Whoop. <laughs> Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Tom then? Here I am. today so run away where is ringman here i am how are you today sir 
Santa. Run away. Where is Pinky? Here I am. How are you today, sir? Run away. <laughs> Good job. I wonder if our little people could have different voices. Hmm. Let me have a think. Maybe they could talk like this. How are you today, sir? Maybe they could talk like this. How are you today, sir? Maybe they could talk like this. Um, How are you today, sir? Maybe they could talk like this. How are you today, sir? I wonder if yours can have different voices too. You can answer with whatever kind of voice you like. It doesn't have to be the same kind of voice that I do. Let's have a go. Ew, ew. Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. How are you today, sir? Run away. Where is Pointer? Here I am. How are you today, sir? Run away. Where is Tall Man? Here I am. How are you today, sir? Run away. Where is Ringman? Here I am. <laughs> How are you today, sir? Run away. Where is Pinky? Here I am. How are you today, sir? Run away. <laughs> Some of my little finger characters were very low. Some of them were very high. Some were softly spoken. And some were quite loud. One was even a bit nasally sounding. Sounded a little bit stuffed up. A little bit snuffly. <laughs> Come over here. This is around and round the garden. You might know this little rhyme. It's pretty popular. If not, you might learn a brand new one right now. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> this version has been illustrated by Annie Kubler and published by Child's Play. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step Two steps, tickle you under there. <laughs> round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle you under there. <laughs> you can see in my book it's showing you how to play the game. Over here. One person holds their hand and the other person is going around and around in the palm of their hand and then stepping up and tickling under their chin. <laughs> sometimes we tickle under arms, sometimes under chins. Wherever is comfortable for you. If you don't want to be tickled, that's okay. You can say no thank you. <laughs> I like to do it like this. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. 
One step, two steps. Tickle you under there. I wonder if you know another one like that. I do. It has a little mouse in it. Can you go squeak, squeak, like a little mouse? <laughs> squeak. Round and round the haystack goes a little mouse. One step, two steps, right into its house. <laughs> goes a little mouse. One step, two steps right into its house. I know another one too with a mouse. Can you go round and round? Like this? Or like this? Round and round the haystack goes a little mouse. One step, two steps all around the house. You can tickle everywhere. <laughs> round and round the haystack goes a little mouse. One step, two steps all around the house. <laughs> there are three that you can be doing. I wonder if we can do it a different way. You might like to have a think about what could go round and round the garden or round and round the haystack or whatever you want. <laughs> and what kind of steps it's going to do. Round and round the, the oh, let me think. Round and round the garden, the little monster goes. One step, two steps, I'm gonna get your nose. Nope. <laughs> Can you do the monster one? Or maybe you could do something else. It's up to you. Round and round the garden, the little monster goes. One step, two steps, I'm gonna get your nose. Boop. <laughs> Have you ever done that before? Get the nose like this? It's not really a nose. Boop, pop it back on. play this game we're going to need a drum or something to bang on or anything you like. This is one that I did in a previous session so you might like to go back and have a look at the other videos for Playdate from State Library. There's some goodies in there with lots of fun games to play and songs to sing and books to read. Let's have a go. We do drum clap. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, 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 for fifty cents, 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 to see the elephant, 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 jump over the fence, fence, fence. It jumped so high, 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 it touched the sky, sky. Sky, and it didn't come back, back, back till the 4th of July, July, July. Can you help me with the echo bit? So I'm going to sing Miss Mary Mac and you sing Mac, Mac and I sing all dressed in black and you sing black, black with silver buttons, buttons, buttons. Can you do those bits? You've got to be really quick with this one. The words come in really quite quickly. Let's have a go. It might be tricky, but that's okay. We can do tricky things. We are very clever. <clears throat> Ready? Miss Mary Mac, all dressed in black, with silver buttons. All down her back, she asked her mother for fifty cents to see the elephant jump over the fence. 
It jumps so high, it touched the sky, and it didn't come back till the 4th of July. Aren't you clever? Let's have one more go. A little teeny tiny bit fast. Let's just crank it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Ready? Here we go. It's Mary Mac, all dressed in black, with silver buttons all down her back. She asked her mother for 50 cents to see the elephant jump over the fence. It jumped so high, it touched the sky, and didn't come back till the 4th of July. Well done! Woo! This story is called This Little Chick. Doop, 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 doop. This little chick. <laughs> it is written and illustrated by John Lawrence and it's from Candlewick Press. <laughs> There's the mama and all the little baby chicks and this little chick. <laughs> this little chick from over the way went to play with the pigs one day and what do you think they heard him say? <laughs> this little chick from over the way went to swim with the ducks one day and what do you think they heard him say quack 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 <laughs> This little chick from over the way went to lay with the cows one day. Ooh. And what do you think they heard him say? Ma, 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 ma. chick from over the way went to jump with the frogs one day and what do you think they heard him say ribbit 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 <laughs> this little chick from over the way went to skip with the lambs one day and what do you think they heard him say? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> this little chick from over the way went home to his mum at the end of the day. And what do you think she heard him say? Ribbit, ribbit, moo, moo, moo. Quack, 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 ba, ba. Ribbit. Moo. Ribbit, ribbit. Ba. <laughs> a multilingual little chick. What a clever chick being able to speak to all of the different animals. Do you speak chicken? I wonder. <laughs> that was this little chick. 
by John Lawrence and published by Candlewick Press. I wonder if you could help me with some animals. I went to visit the farm one day. I met a pig along the way. And what do you think I heard him say? What does a pig say? He said. I went to visit a farm one day I met a dog along the way And what do you think I heard him say? <gasps> ruff, 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 he said ruff, ruff, ruff <laughs> Hello ruff. Can you be a dog too? Or maybe a big dog. Or maybe a little dog. I went to visit a farm one day. I met a horse along the way. And what do you think I heard him say? No, no, he said, no, no, no. No! Can you be a horse too? No. <laughs> I went to visit a farm one day. I met a donkey along the way. And what do you think? I heard her say. Hmm, what does a donkey say? <coughs> she said, <coughs> Can you be a donkey? <coughs> <laughs> I love the donkey. <coughs> Such a fun noise to make. <laughs> If you'd like to join in, but you don't know how to click, that's okay. You can have a practice. You can also do crab clicks, like this. They make a little sound. Or if you've been practicing, try big ones. I went to visit a farm one day. I met a cow along the way. And what do you think I heard her say? Moo, 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 she said. Moo, moo, moo. Mom. Nice cow. <laughs> Mom. I went to visit a farm one day. I met a sheep along the way. And what do you think I heard him say? Ba ba ba. He said ba ba ba. <laughs> ba. <laughs> one more. One more. I went to visit a farm one day. I met a chicken along the way. Oh no, I didn't. I met a duck along the way. And what do you think I heard her say? What does a duck say? Hmm. Quack, quack, quack. She said, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I wonder, can you be a duck? Quack, 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 quack. And waddle a little bit. 
Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> oh. Quack, 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 quack. My duck likes to swim. And sometimes my duck likes to fly. Can you fly with the duck? Me, oh my, pickles and pie. I see a duck up in the sky. Me, oh my, pickles and pie. How did a duck learn to fly? Ducks really can fly. But something that doesn't usually fly might be our sheep. Can you fly with my sheep? You might need to stretch your wings out. <clears throat> Maybe you need a run up. <clears throat> Maybe not. Maybe you just need to leap off. Me, oh my, pickles and pie. I see a sheep up in the sky. Me, oh my, pickles and pie. How did a sheep learn to fly? <laughs> Someone who says and doesn't usually fly? Yeah, a cow. <laughs> Can you make her fly? Me, oh my, pickles and pie. I see a cow up in the sky. Me, oh my, pickles and pie. How did a cow learn to fly? I don't know if cows like flying. <laughs> they don't usually fly. What about one more? No! Can you fly with our horse? Maybe the horse flies really fast. And jump! Me, oh my, pickles and pie. I see a horse up in the sky. Me, oh my, pickles and pie. How did a horse learn to fly? No! Come into land, little horse. <gasps> oh, much better on the ground. Thanks, horsey. <laughs> oh. Today's last story is Over in the Meadow. This is a folk song that has been illustrated by Michael Evans and published by Child's Play from their classic books with whole series. Can you see lots of animals playing in our meadow? Hmm. It doesn't look like an Australian meadow with these animals. We have rabbits, a frog and a toad and some crows. You might find those in Australia. But this one is an otter. That doesn't live around here. <laughs> and a squirrel. Ooh. I wonder where this meadow is. Maybe in Europe? Maybe in the UK? Maybe in the Americas somewhere? Don't know. <laughs> one! Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother toady and her little toady one. Wink, said the mother, I wink, said the one. So they winked and they blinked in the sand, in the sun. Lived an old mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam and they leapt where the stream runs blue. Three! Over in the meadow, in a hole in a tree, lived an old mother squirrel and her little Squirrels three. Nibble, said the mother. We nibble, 
said the three. So they nibbled and they hid in the hole in the tree. Four. Over in the meadow in the reeds on the shore lived an old mother otter and her little otters four. Dive, said the mother, we dive, said the four. So they dived and they burrowed in the reeds on the shore. Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived a mother honeybee and her little bees five. One, two, three, four, five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they hummed in their snug beehive. <coughs> Over in the meadow in a nest made of six sticks, <laughs> sticks lived a black mother crow and her little crow six. Said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they called and they called in their nest built of sticks. Caw, 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 Seven! Over in the meadow where the grass tastes like heaven lived an old mother rabbit and her little rabbit seven. Hop! said the mother. We hop, said the seven. So they hopped and they bounced in their green grassy heaven. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> There's some other animals we can see in our meadow. There's some lizards. There are some Spiders. What else is there? Oh, froggies. Of course, in the pond there's some froggies as well. Shall we sing those ones? Yeah? Over in the meadow by an old mossy gate lived a mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother, we bask, said the eight. So they basked in the sun by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow where the quiet pools shine lived a green mother frog and her little froggies nine. Croak, 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 said the mother, we croak. Grow, 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 said the nine. So they croaked and they splashed where the quiet pool shines. There they are. Grow, 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 grow. Can you croak too? Grow, 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 grow. <laughs> Number ten. Over in the meadow in a dark little den lived a black mother spider and her little spider's ten. Spin, said the mother, we spin, said the ten. So they spun lacy webs in their dark little den. Can you see them in the log? <laughs> Lots of beautiful creatures doing what they do over in the meadow. That was Over in the Meadow, illustrated by Michael Evans from Child's Play, from their classic books with whole series. It is almost time for us to go, but before we do, I wanted to show you something. First, have a listen. I hear with my little ear something that sounds like this. <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, it's heavy. All the way back there. This is what I was playing.
This is called a tongue drum. It's made out of, what do you think it's made out of? Hold it up. It's made out of metal, well done. And it's actually a single piece of metal that has been wrapped around into this kind of squashed ball shape. <laughs> And it has sections cut out of it like this that make shapes that look like a tongue. Does your tongue look like that? So they make the bits cut out look like a tongue. <laughs> and then like a tongue, they can kind of waggle around a little bit. Ugh. But it's so subtle you can't really see it. But when I touch it, I can feel it vibrating when I hit on the tongue. The whole thing goes like that. <laughs> Sounds pretty, doesn't it? to play our tongue drum while I do today's lullaby. So I'm going to come back over here. Let's go this way. Ooh, there I am. <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to hold it on my lap and tap the drum with my mallet. It has a little fuzzy head on it. It's not too hard. Now this lullaby says baby in it. I know you're not babies.
Isn't it a lovely instrument? I really think it's fantastic. <laughs> this style of tongue drum is a West African tongue drum, but they can be found in uh, quite a lot of different cultures from all over the world. So if you're interested, you might like to look up a tongue drum or maybe a hue drum with your grown-ups. Um, bigger ones that are slightly different shape are called hang drums, but they all make this very beautiful, gentle, um, metallic sound. It's almost time for me to go now. <coughs> Goodbye, children.